92.3 Amp Radio. 92.3 Amp Radio. It's your boy in the morning. And uh, let's give a warm welcome. Justin Bieber in the building. Yeah. Bienvenido, bro, to your casa. Thank you for being here. Mi casa, su casa, my mm. G. Love it, bro. <laughs> I want to go to your casa. Yeah, yeah. Are Can you we kidding go to your me? Casa? <laughs> we just saw you at the Billboard Music Festival. And that was the first time you'd been on stage in a long time. And you expressed that. You were talking to everybody the whole time. And you kind of took us through that journey. You played some of your old songs, too. Yeah. And to see you come back, and with, that was just a couple weeks ago. And all that's happened since then, the VMA is the number one. Are you surprised to see the reaction after everything that had happened prior to? I'm not so much to? surprised as I am um, relieved. Yeah. Like, I, I oh, yeah, I can yeah. take a breath now. I know that, like... I just knew, I knew the music was awesome. I knew it from the bottom of my soul. I was like, this stuff is awesome. And it's just about timing and about like the right planning and stuff. But it all seems to be working out. Absolutely, well. bro. I <laughs> yeah. mean, your song went to number one on iTunes with less than five minutes. Number one on iTunes in 89 countries. Number one now, musically speaking, in the UK and in the US, bro. That's huge, man. And I think it's because we were talking about it with DJ Majestic here in the studio when your song, What Do You Mean, came out. We're like, finally, a manthem. You feel me? <laughs> like, it's a manthem. a manthem, bro. Because so many times women, like, they think we can read minds and, like, we, we can't. can't, bro. We can't. We really can't. We're, we're not as smart as women think we are. Uh -oh. <laughs> Have you heard that song described as a manthem? Because they weren't the only two. All the guys here at the station were like, yeah, it's a manthem. Justin Bieber's finally speaking what we were thinking the whole time. And we're like, get out of here. All the girls, I mean, we love the song, but the girls were like. just saying, like, make up your mind. Tell me one thing and just leave me off, <laughs> leave me in the wrong direction. So you kind of teed somebody up to come back, though. Like a girl, like somebody could totally do the what do you mean, like girl version, you know? You guys do a lot of stuff, too. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a duet. <laughs> That's there you a good go. idea. Like, remember when Scrubs came out? Yeah. And they did a response to that? I don't want to. The Scrubs. Yeah. Uh, Justin, uh, recently we had Skrillex in the building with us, hanging out. And he was talking about working with you on your new album. And we asked him, what surprised you the most about working with Justin Bieber and hanging out with him in person? And what do you think he said that surprised him the most about working with you before we reveal what it is? Um... That I'm good at stuff. <laughs> Why do you think that surprised him? Um, I don't know, because I'm like super competitive, so I want to be good at everything. And um, I think everything we did, like I beat him in pool and in <laughs> pong. And we also beat him in. You're very self-aware, Justin. I guess we can appreciate that about you, you know? Well, I got a slight confidence to me. But um, <laughs> no, it's, it's cool because it's coming out of a, a good place, you know? At Absolutely. this point, it's like... I'm confident. I think we all should be confident and Absolutely. enjoy ourselves and have fun, but don't carry uh, a cocky confidence. And it's like a cool, fun, like, let me include people in, yeah. you know, my journey and stuff. So it's been cool. Let's take a peek at uh, what Skrillex did say that surprised the most about working with you on your album. Right? Here it is. It doesn't even most. matter what anybody says. He's the most talented, gifted kid I've ever seen, like, at everything. He can skateboard. He can, like, beat everyone at <laughs> ping pong and pool. He got like when I got the Iowa Hawk, I actually showed him the Iowa Hawk and he got right on it, was doing like one footed tricks and like he's just so talented and competitive and wants to be good at everything. He was also a really polite, sweet, sweet person as well. Like I love that. I love that guy. That made me melt. He's the best guy ever. He was really sweet. He was raving about you, but he was also spot on on talking about the ping pong. <laughs> and even and he even went on to talk about you guys were playing skate or you were skating yep. together. You played a game, skate, of, skate, that's a game like, of skate, right? That's like horse. Yep. You know, you get letters as you go doing tricks or whatnot. And he said he almost beat me in skate, <laughs> but he did win on that one. He said, "Is that true?" I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I beat him, and he, just had to, <laughs> he had to keep something for himself. But uh, no, what happened was. I landed. I landed a, a inward heel flip to win the game. But <laughs> when I landed it, I stepped off like two seconds later. He's like, "You didn't roll away." I said, "You didn't roll away, so it doesn't count." So he was like changing the rules as you guys went. No, no, that's actually the real rules. Okay. But I'm just like, I was like, "Come on!" It was an inward heel flip. I never land those. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of skateboarding, man, because we know you love skateboarding. We've seen videos of you. Just it doesn't matter where you're at. You were chilling outside of Jimmy Fallon's studio, skateboarding here in NYC. 
I'm going to ask you this real quick. So imagine you could skateboard with any two people in the history of planet Earth, ever. Any two people. You down the skateboard, assuming that they already know how to skateboard, right? Ryan Sheckler. What two people would those be, and why? And uh, I'd love to see Betty White on a skateboard. Oh, uh, you know what? You probably could get her on a skateboard. We should do that. We should get her on a skateboard. She would definitely do that. You want to? Let's set it up. Amp Radio. Um, Next week, Justin Bieber and Betty White will be taking the streets of New York. Um, <laughs> so just come and find us. Yeah, we're going to be clearing four sets and stuff. And um, I'm going to teach her how to kickflip. And maybe we'll go get dinner later and watch a movie. And, then, and I'll never call her back. Wait, are you admitting you have a crush <laughs> on Betty White? Well, we might have a prior thing going. but Oh, that's for uh, that's for me to know and not for you to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a tease. Betty White's going to be calling. And I heard you talking on Amp Radio. What do you mean, Justin? <laughs> Justin, uh, being through this, it's so funny. We were, we were talking about when we released your song here and we were bumping, what do you mean? And it was on every hour going crazy. And everybody's like, yeah, Justin Bieber's comeback. And all of a sudden, we were just like, wait up. Homeboy's 21 years old. And it we're wasn't a com- I'm just talking back. about a comeback. It's not a comeback. I'm just back. I, I took three years and I didn't release any music. So, like, Bieber's back is cool because I'm, I'm back. I'm making music, but I, I never really went anywhere. But musically, you chilled for a sec. Mm-hmm. What advice would Justin Bieber today give to teenage Justin Bieber? Stay away from Miami. Stay away <laughs> from Miami. Yeah. All kinds of problemas in Miami. <laughs> you know. So moving forward, you're really going to stay away from I Miami? Just, um... I'm just gonna do it with caution. Right, I'm gonna do it in the right ways with, with caution. Well, yeah, because you learn from experiences. Yeah, right? You know yeah, what yeah. you're doing moving forward. But honestly, if we could keep it 100, yeah. those um, like I never was speeding. We never were drag racing, and I wasn't intoxicated. Um, and those that stuff got released later. But the first thing that re- is released is always what people pick up. So um. Yeah, I wasn't being that irresponsible to where I was I was drag racing and I was doing all, I've never drag raced ever in my life. I've speeded and I've gotten a few few speeding tickets, but I got a Ferrari and you're supposed to open it up a little bit. <laughs> well, why else get a Ferrari, right? <laughs> right? Exactly. If you can't open it up a little bit and and and, and sometimes I, I guess I was I was irresponsible at times and but but man, I'm uh feel good. I'm in a good place. Moving right along, Pablo. Uh we want to play a little something, something called uh, what do you mean? And uh, we'll ask you some questions. You we just want a little explanation from you. All right. So uh, recently you confessed that you love to cuddle. I do. What do you mean? Are you the big spoon or the little spoon when you're cuddling with a girl? It depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I need someone to hold me. Sometimes I want to <laughs> take charge. All right. I love yeah. being the little spoon. You know, just let the girl know, like, let her you know. can take care of me, too. It's all right. You can be little spoon sometimes, for sure. But... I think I'm majority big spoon for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. What do you like, Nina? Do you I like... like to be the little spoon. I like to just, you know, have to hold me. Yeah. 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 Would you mind a fork in there at all? Or... <laughs> Excuse you? Hey, kill me. All right. So little spoon sometimes. Love it. Uh, recently, you also confessed, Justin, that you got your heart broken, Bobo, and you're going to let it heal before you get into another relationship. For sure. Does that mean that? That person that you're in love with broke up with you? No, just means my my heart was broken from the situation we were together for for quite a while. So, is but, there? Would you say there's something that you're doing that maybe is not helping your heart heal at this moment in time, or that you could do differently? You think? I think there's a lot of stuff I could be doing better, um, but it's a it's a journey and. Um, I'm going to take it one step at a time, you know, because, I mean, gosh, I think we're, uh, how do I word this right? Because I don't want to say too much. I want to leave some mystery and some stuff for myself, but I'm cool with talking about it a little bit. Just saying, like, when you're in a relationship, like, it's a choice. So you know, it, it obviously you feel it, but there's gonna be times when you don't feel it, and that's when you choose. Like I choose this person, whether like with all their faults, and um, and I think that that's how marriage works. Is because you choose like through it all. Like I choose you, and, and when I don't feel it, I don't feel it, but I choose you, and I don't know. Am I making sense? Yeah, like in good times and in bad. 
You're gonna stick with it. But, but yeah, that's it's cool to say, but really to live that way of just like, I choose you, and I might not feel it tomorrow. I might not feel it the next day, but I choose you, and I, and that's what's special about it. Is like, yeah. But if you feel it at all, that means something. If you feel it at all, you're you're doing the right sure, thing. For sure, for you know? sure. But I think that we often put too much. Like we make our feelings such a reality when our feelings aren't necessarily real. You know, I, th that's what I feel sometimes because I feel like doing a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't be doing, or or that it's not even a real. Like we just make up these situations and make up things in our head, and it's not necessarily real. And I just uh, I want to base my relationships off of love and off of just genuineness, and um, that's it, man. And I think uh, let's talk about some music. Yeah, <laughs> and get away from this sappy stuff. <laughs> no, but you know what? No, this... thank you for opening up. Bro, yeah, about for sure. That. And the sappy that. stuff touches the heart, and that's the stuff that people that love you and care about you want to make sure they want to hear. You... It, I guess they do. And then ninety two three amp radio. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to hear your music, you just talked about the release of the new album coming out in November. Yep. We've already got a taste. What is the rest of the album going to be like? The rest of the album is going to. Uh, it's similar to the other stuff, but cool. it's um it takes it to a whole nother atmosphere and I'm excited. I just like I hate when people are describing their album. They're like, Yeah man, it's just different. <laughs> it's like it's so different from everyone's music and like I don't know how different my music is, but it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just being a hundred right are you there. Self aware like, again. Dude, like, yeah, I'm, it's just different, man. It's like nothing I've ever done before like, in my life. I never done like people are gonna be so surprised if it's like how different it is and you hear it and you're like it's not that different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just keep it a hundred, bro. Uh speaking about music, bro, we were just uh, chilling at the VMAs and uh Kanye said he's running for president twenty twenty. Does he Kanye have for your president, baby? Kanye for president. All the way. <laughs> you got the Yeezys on? I got the Yeezys on. I'm a huge Kanye fan. I love Kanye. He's the best. He has a pad here in Soho, and he was signing people's Yeezys that would roll up to his house. He's super nice That's like dope. that. Yeah, well, so nice. Yeah, he's dope. And I like his slogan for his presidential campaign, the one that goes like this. Listen to the kids, bro. Listen to the kids, bro. What are your thoughts on that slogan? I think it's dope. <laughs> Listen to the kids. He's right. Listen to the kids. The kids know what's what's hot and what's cool. And you guys are just old, dude. Oh wait, you want to say that again? I don't care if you're Justin Bieber. Come over here Come and tell on. me. Hey, how hey, old you guys are old. <laughs> Justin are Bieber, from here. Thank you so much for chilling with us, bro. We appreciate you <laughs> taking you the so time. Thank you so much for having me, man. And I hope you had fun, man. Enjoying uh, this. Next time we play Thank some more basketball. Thank you for putting up with me through all my. Because I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff. It's early and tired and no we love ADD. you we love you so excited that you're here Appreciate me specifically that. i'm not gonna lie absolutely oh, yeah. uh nina's going for a hug in right now with justin bieber is a nice kiss on the cheek yeah, yeah. and he's getting that love nina's been dreaming about this moment ever since we found out justin was coming in i know i was really excited there it is it's your boy getting a big hug too Justin Bieber, like 